Remember the lug nuts with 13 16 I'm gonna jack it up on the axle. So it's a 7 sixteenths wrench. Once you break it free, these caliper bolts are tight on mine. It's a 7 sixteenths. This one will just bring up. Just break it free. They are very tight, at least mine were. Once you break them free, well, pretty easy. Here's one caliper bolt. Here's the other caliper bolt. And you can lift off the caliper, change the pads. Tabs up here. I just pull out and you know, push it down. Comes up pretty easy. Just slide it out. Slide one. See the pads need to be replaced. There's a new pad. This the old pad. The inside pad has these prongs. It's in the piston. You push it out. There's a C-clamp. To push this back down, you're gonna break tool like this. You slide it up in there. You tighten it down to compress the piston back so you can get the new pads in there. And once it's compressed, you'll lift up on the pad and it'll slide it out. Get it out. Here's the old one. Here's the new one. You just slide the new one up. The groove, you push it down like that, push it down. Other brake pad, there's a number on it. If you need a Trail Star trailer brake pad, it's 120341. A lot of wiggling to get it to sit flush under here. Get your tabs in there and this. You just have, it's a little bit of work to get it in there. Hard to hold the camera, get it situated, but just wiggle it in and pry it around. You'll get it. So there we go. New pads installed. Put it back together. Turn down the two caliper bolts. Turn up the front caliper bolt. Pads installed. That's on the front of a dual axle. Driver side front dual axle trailer. New pads. This trailer is 90 foot pounds of torque on the lug nuts. Let's tighten it down.
good to go. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.